after timing what's happening real slow there maybe i avoid it see because it was after the shot boom i throw it okay now during timing would look like this bam he gets hit right when the shot is going out it's during his attack you notice when most people step to fight go ahead you see he has to step to reach me when he comes to step to reach me bam there's the interception i take it right away when i see him fidget and move I take the shot right away. If he comes to me, bam, I take the interception and then I can follow. So there's the difference between before, during, and after. So the three times to hit, most commonly, the times we see people hit is he comes up and he throws a jab, and the guy goes here, boom, and throws a shot back, okay? That's after. He throws a jab, slip it, boom, that's after. He throws a jab, I parry it, I throw a jab back, that's after. This is after timing because see, he throws the shot and it's gone back after I come back. He throws the shot, it's gone back after I come back. He throws the shot after I come back. He goes the shot after I come back. So that's after timing. So after timing looks like that. Then it takes a little bit more skill, but I, then there's what's called during timing, okay? So let's see, when after timing, what's happening real slow, there, maybe I avoid it, see, because it was after the shot, boom, I throw it, okay? Now, during timing would look like this. Bam, he gets hit right when the shot is going out. It's during his attack. He goes and throws, it's during his attack. Let's take a look at the other side. He goes to hit, it's during his attack. He goes to hit, it's during his attack. He goes to hit, it's during his attack. That's the idea, that's during timing, okay? So you've got after timing, bam, and you have during timing, okay? Now, the highest level of timing that you can use is called interception, okay? And that's before timing. And that timing is really dependent on a keen sense of your distance management and your, uh, how sharp you've made your tools, but also understanding the intent of the fighter. Can you read them? Can you read their tells? Can you read their cues? And can you intercept them maybe sometimes even on their thought with regards to what is happening? It will look kind of like this. You see that? Before he could even get it off. And he's, if you notice, when most people step to fight, go ahead. So you see he has to step to reach me. And when he comes to step to reach me, bam, there's the interception. I take it right away. When I see him fidget and move, I take the shot right away. As he comes to me, bam, I take the interception and then I can follow. So there's the difference between before, during, and after. Before is the hardest one to do, but it's also probably the most effective because then you don't allow that person's attack to get off, their style or system to get off, and that's very beneficial for you.